Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed. We just made it to Crocodopolis and we are going to go ahead and synchronize with this area. So as, as you would imagine, everything about this uh, area is pretty much covered in swamp and there are a lot of crocodiles everywhere. So I have done a couple of side missions and I believe, yeah, we picked up some new gear. I picked up a sword, I mean a shield, I'm sorry. And this shield actually does poison on block and that's pretty cool. Um, I think other than that, that's all that we can upgrade for now because I'm gonna save, uh, hold off until we get two more of those blue crystals so we can finally finish out our melee combat. All right, so let's go ahead and head over to the crocodile himself and it just uh, will get us the rare light bow actually so let's go ahead and set that up on the map and so let's head down I really didn't even see that <laughs> that leap of faith was definitely a leap of faith because I didn't even see that hay pile right there Oh yeah, I forgot that you can actually jump into those little things like that and that would actually take you around the city and into places you shouldn't be. Gladiatorial arena. So the crocodile recruits from this place for his personal army. I need to find out more about it. Excuse me, what can you tell me about this place? Can't you see? It's an arena for Roman blood sport. Barbaric if you ask me. But it's found favor with those desperate to forget their troubles. It used to be a temple. It should have been left that way. The Ovikos, the living embodiment of war. His fists are deadlier than any weapon. The Ridovix, the loyal servant of death. His scythe will ever reap the unworthy. Sir, we need more fighters. They're dying at an alarm. Are you the owner here? Yes, I am the owner. Felix Martialis. Who are you? Another rough knuckle no name seeking fame? I only want entry to the arena. I heard you have got a fighter worth watching. With red hair? Ah, you mean the Gallic brothers. You heard right. But let me save you some time, camel boy. You cannot afford it. Now piss off before you scare away someone who can. Sir, this man wears a Magi badge. A med what? <laughs> I do not even care. Can you fight? You look the part like a vicious, mangy dog. Nah, nah. I have already got an Egyptian. A huntress from Siwa who's worth three of you. She frequents the obelisk in the East End if you want an impromptu beating. It is the only way inside this arena. Fight in the streets, and the gladiator can bring you in. So, the Gallic brothers are involved in Shadia's murder. But why are they doing the crocodile's bidding? I need to get inside and learn more. The arena owner mentioned a C1 gladiator to the east at an obelisk. I wonder if I know her. I bet C1's you do a know her. Place. I should go and see. Well, uh, you guys probably know who it is too. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. But I got a really good idea who a uh, female huntress from CY could be. <laughs> Let's find out who it will be. You guys go ahead and guess. All right, we're locked on her. By the way, I... I killed one of those, uh, what are they call, uh, uh, flakies again, and I got this cool, cool, uh, like massive blade. So if you see that massive blade that I'm carrying right now, I got it. I'll probably end up just uh, showing the last part of it. Um, actually, probably, yeah, right now. Hey, 
here now. So be it. Die then. As the first, how many of the Felakes have this? Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, this blade is tight. Look at some of the moves it has. Look at that. It's a nice little combo. And then when you charge it up, it does this like cool little spinning attack. Like that thing will cut some people down. Can't wait to use it. Uh, no, that's not who I thought it was. so close to my dream. If only I was given the chance, I know I could become champion. I mean wealth, luxury, fame. What more could a woman want? Huh? That's why I came to Fayu, to make a new life for myself and bury the past. But I was turned away from the arena doors. <laughs> so you have finally given up trying to put the world to rights. Good. Such things are impossible. Felix is slow to trust outsiders. But do not worry. With my backing, we'll soon be fighting side by side. First, we drink. And in the morning, we can go to the arena for the proper introductions. Eh, it's good to have you here, old friend. Oh. So I can just go back to... That's it? So I can just head back to the arena? Okay. Well, let's head back that way. We're almost back. Maybe he'll let us in now. Hey, buddy. I want this man to be my partner. As it happens, the Iberian was torn apart by lions yesterday. I may have an opening. And if Kensa vouches for you? You will need a title if you're going to team up, though. How about the Siwa Warriors? I think the Guardians of Siwa would be more fitting. Is that memorable enough for you? I have heard worse. Come inside. The 
This is where combatants await their turn on the sand. What you smell is sweat, blood, and not a little offal. If you are predisposed to shitting your armor, this is where to do it. There is no pharaoh or god in the arena to protect you, Magi. <laughs> this is where you will probably die. Try to do it with drama, it pleases the crowd. On the off chance you live, you will be rewarded with glory and fame. And another chance to die. Such is the short but luminous life of a gladiator. All right, who do we have? Ah, there is Callistos. Callistos, a former soldier of Ptolemy who claimed to know how to handle a sword. Horus, he was my best fighter once, but age ruins us all. He is not much more than a bedpan now. He trains the novices. Is that armor from Ptolemy's army? Most of the fighters cannot afford their own armor. In any case, it is soon ruined. <laughs> The army does not miss a few suits here and there, and it adds to the authenticity. Speaking of authenticity, in the arena, you use the weapons I give you. There are no exceptions. You already know Kensa, whose glowing but suspect recommendation brought you here. <laughs> Bayek! Crocodilopolis welcomes another champion! Or another bag of blood and shit. I want to see if he can fight. And who better to test him than the one who recommended him? <laughs> what do you say? Ready to draw a sword, old Magi? <laughs> Let's see if you have improved. Okay. Whoa! Oh, she, she, she the real deal. Okay. Faster than I expected. Oh, she's only level 28. Whoop! Wow! Look at that! I thought I had you. Wow! But you have got a pleasing vicious trick for a sand. Okay, you've got a new partner. We open the door soon. Be ready. Guys, thank you. These are the scraps that Felix wants to throw our way. <laughs> They make a poor meal, my brother. <laughs> I'm going to slice off your balls and feed them to you. Dang! <laughs> Our main obstacle to glory, the Gallic brothers. I know who they are. That's why we're here. I hate that I gotta use their weapons though. It's kind of lame. I've worked really hard in this game to get my own weapon. All right, you guys ready? What's she doing? Let's talk to her. Are you well, my friend? You seem distracted. Don't worry, you will lose your nerves after the first fight. I'm fine. But you have not yet told me how you came to be here. Now that is a story. I was taken as a slave during Ptolemy's time in Siwa. A sick beast named Septimius and his clan were going to use me. But I managed to get a sword and make my escape. <laughs> I traveled here where Felix took me in and trained me. But enough about the past, huh? I can't tell you how happy I am to share this good fortune with you. Soon the crowd will worship you. Almost as much as they worship me. <laughs> yes, yes. Let us split the sun in two with our swords. Ho oh ho! You are primed indeed! Let Felix know when you are ready for our first match. The sooner we start, the sooner we are champions! <laughs> I don't know why he had to stand up the same time she stood up. Let's see what this guy has to say. <laughs> the new C1 fighter. I look forward to humiliating you in battle many times. I joke, of course. We might be pitted against each other out there, but that's all the more reason to stand together in here. I'm glad to hear it. But why does one of Ptolemy's soldiers risk his life in the arena? I have trouble obeying orders, and the army frowns on that. 
But I have a family to support, so here I am. Have you ever challenged the brothers? Viridovix and the Ovikos? I haven't been thought worthy yet. In that, I consider myself fortunate. Oh. I mean, it looks like he's been in there. He looks like a tiny guy and he handled it. But uh, let's see what this guy has to say. You are Horus, are you not? Felix told me you are the trainer here. That's my choice, Gaelic brothers. Hurt me. My head would have killed me if Felix did not stop them. What can you tell me about them? You don't want to fight them. They are strong and fast, and they like killing. For them, it's fun. Sport. Okay. What else? Anyone else? I think that's it. You know what? No more stalling. Let's get in this thing. Let's crack some skulls. We are ready. <laughs> are you? <laughs> Everyone thinks they are ready till they get a fist in the face. I am starting you against a few novices. If you survive, we will talk about more. Two warriors against the odds. The crowds love unfair fights. Do mm -hmm. not disappoint them. Or me. Alright. So I, I knew this was going to be kind of crazy because it had its own little loading screen, so... Like, could you... Yeah, we can't even exit. Are they screaming for our blood or for theirs? Oh. Uh, no oh, okay. Oh, dang. Away, they certainly will not. Every man here knows the risks. You're to this One guy easily. gone. Can you see the look on their faces? Oh, I, I get to keep all my health, so that's pretty cool. Women. I have everything want. Wow. Yeah, it's nice to be nice and powered up and leveled up. These two sand bandits are tougher than they look. Sand bandits? Wow. I'm talking about disrespectful. These little lower level guys, you can just hack and slash on them. Pretty much. Bye bye. <laughs> that is so satisfying. <laughs> wow, one hit on him. That's a one hit a quitter, aka a haymaker. Chip broke my shield. Ooh. And what's that? Then a whole new world of opportunity, my friend. The best gladiators are sent on special missions. I like how she's, she's a nice distraction. Oh, he hit me. I wish I had my big axe. I can do the same thing. Nice. Yeah, I can't even... I don't even have my bow and arrow. Wow. They have not eaten for days. You are their team. Find me when you are ready. If what Kemsa says is true, any of the gladiators could be working for the crocodile. There might be evidence here of the jobs the Gallic brothers did. Maybe even the identity of their patron. Oh, really? Well, let's go ahead and talk to her real quick. 
We are on our way, old friend. After all this time, I might finally get my shot at the Gallic Brothers. And it's thanks to you. Yeah, I would like nothing more. What about these other contracts you mentioned earlier? Oh, the righteous Bayek is willing to dirty his hands. Times have changed, Sene. I suppose it is hard to be a Magi all the time. You will have to ask Felix about those. Quietly. The best way to reach the crocodile is to beat the Gallic brothers. As if I needed more reason to slit the throats of Shadia's killers. Yeah, they, they definitely get in the business. Can I talk to these guys each time? An impressive first outing, C1. I'm a little jealous. I need a faster way to make coin. I've had fighters are offered work outside the arena. You're quick to learn secrets, my friend. We're not supposed to talk about it. But opportunities come along from time to time. I think I might have just proven myself worthy. Do you know who the contracts come from? There is a reason these people operate in shadow. No one knows their identity. Take my advice. If you're lucky enough to be chosen, do what you are asked and be thankful for the money. Okay. If there's nobody else to talk to. I say we go ahead and, you know, keep this episode going. All right, Felix, let's get it. Felix. I've heard some gladiators are chosen for extra work. You heard wrong. And if there was an arrangement, you would have much more to do to earn your way in. Your job, you upstart dog novel, is to fight. That is it. You earn your gold in a pit, or you do not earn it. Then that is what I will do. We are ready. Finally. They are asking about you too at the arena in Sari. Put on a good show and we all profit. All right, let's keep it moving. Really? Lions? How often do you fight lions? <laughs> Only when Whoa. beasts can get them. They are much more expensive than men for a hearing for a beating. There seems little honor in killing animals. Kill or be eaten by them. Beasts, be engaged, we will be fine. As long as we go free. These little guys are no mess. Trying to sneak up on me, boy. Whoa, watch out. It's a big guy. No shield, though. That's going to be his death. Don't sneak up on me again. <laughs> there are no rules in the arena, Sammy. Pretty low level lion, though, for us. But he won't take long. <laughs> he killed the lion, I killed him. Charging those hits definitely knocks them off balance, too. I like that we can stagger people. Well, that was it. Round two. Done. I wonder how many rounds. The guardians of Siwa are victorious once again. Could the Gallic Brothers be next? I hope so. I sure hope so. You haven't seen any videos or anything on this, so I'm going in blind. I don't know how many rounds there are and how many people we got to fight, so. Can we talk to this guy again? Is that Callistos? What happened? I warned him. He took a bad job. 
Just another blunt instrument for them to break against their enemies. Do you know who hired him? No. Felix won't tell you. That's how this works. Some die. Some get rich. And everyone keeps quiet. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, where did the, the, the lady go? So, she's not here? So I can't even talk to her? Okay. Let's start the next round. Where's Kimsa? Her talents were required elsewhere today. You are going to have to win this one alone. <laughs> you will be fine. Another errand. Like the one that killed Callistos. Watch your tone, sword meat. What happened to Callistos was unfortunate. But he knew the risks. Fighters who ask too many questions do not survive. It is a dangerous job. Accidents happen. I am only keen to prove myself. Then win this match. You will get your chance against the brothers. Beat them, and you will be noticed. Is Kenzo okay? Holy Anubis. I have to win this. Yeah, I'm gonna win this. But I didn't know that she wasn't around, though. Oh! Look at this. Look at this. Oh. oh, this is crazy. One guy down. You gotta be careful. If you stand in the wrong spot, you will get impaled. That's the guy I wanted to go after too. He had the most health. Look at this guy right here. I'm trying to get him impaled. Come on. Come on. Dang it. Got him. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, got me. Look, look how much health that took from him. Like these little spikes, this really is like a freaking crazy arena. Goodbye. Are you watching Crocodilopolis? Is this the rise of a new challenger? Will the like he took a hit too. Ouch. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> All right. I want to use this. There we go. That was it. Right? Was that it? Yep. Round three done. on a job. Who was it for? I'll tell you everything in good time, brother. Just know that our future has never looked brighter. She definitely enjoys the killing. I'll tell you that much. So he's right in front of me, so obviously they wanted us to speak to him. So let's see what he has to say. So, your turn to fight the brothers. I, I won't say good luck. You won't get any. But listen to me. They are too strong together. That's how they beat me. Separate, separate them. 
fight one, one at a time. And maybe you live. Thank you, Horus. But don't worry. I am not dying today. There are worse things than dying. Be careful. Man, they really messed bro up. Like, he, he, he all kind of messed up in the head. Barely can talk. That's Jack. See, you can leave too at any time, I guess, if you wanted to come back. But, nah, we're not going to do that. We're going to hit it all up at once. Just get it done, right? All right, guys. You ready? Here we go. You have done well for a country, Conrad. Your time has come. The crowd is bored with Viridovics and Diovikos destroying opponents with ease. I am counting on you to make this entertaining. One more thing. Do not kill anyone. I want my top four fighters alive for rematches. I have given the goals the same order. All right. We will not kill them. But no promises about pain and humiliation. <laughs> no. I'm oh, definitely killing moment. them. They get in the business. Monuments and scrawler names across temples after this. Y'all ready for this? We will be adored, rich, and champions. Let's give them the business. Here are the contenders to the crown. The guardians of Siwa. Undefeated. Unmatched. It's the Garlic Brothers! <laughs> See that freaking sword? Dude had a crazy sword. You can't even stagger this guy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Doing good so far. Like, whoop. Dang. Like, you can't even stagger this dude, man. That normally kills people, too. And that thing, it only took like one little bar of health from him. Kind of like us, right? Move. Look at that. Yeah, this is going to be a real deal. Dang. She's doing okay against him. She's taking some chunks off of him. Come on. Come on. Almost got the special up again. I'm going to save it for the other guy, though. Because he's done. Yes. Yes. I think that was a good move. Saving it up. Oh, dang. Oh, he's mad because we killed him. Yeah, you're going to die too, bro. As <laughs> long as he doesn't kill her, I'm fine. Oh. Trying to charge. Oh, he's done. Yes. I don't know about y'all, but I don't think that's a little bit more than the flesh room. <laughs> Captured the gun. 
And take her to Berenike! To... to the crocodile! It was she who drowned the child! Took a book from her! Ordered a stone tied to her ankles! And pushed her in the water! There was nothing we could do! This is the real reason you came to me, isn't it? To uncover this patron! This crocodile! Bayek, why didn't you confide in me? Huh? I would have helped you! You're a mercenary! Just no. like that! I couldn't take the chance! What fate awaits the fallen? No. Will it be life? Bayek! Or death? You know me better than... Death! Bayek, you have to know! That was... That was really, really intense. Like, he didn't even trust his, you know, friend, his so-called sister, enough to tell her the truth. Honestly, I thought that she was going to turn against us at some point, or maybe even die, but neither of those happened, so. There's still a chance that could happen. So I'm assuming we're going outside the arena now since this is loading. It's probably loading the main world. This is a crazy long loading screen. <laughs> it has to be loading the rest of the world. Yep. Uh. So I think we can, um, Go to the arena any time now. Let's see what this guy has to say. By the way, did we did we finish that quest? Or is it still going? Nope, it's still going. So it was Berenike. She is the crocodile. She is the one who killed Shalia. She is the one who has brought ruin to so many. She calls herself the sponsor of Fayum's prosperity and culture. And her influence is felt throughout the region. Her wealth comes from her estate north of the city, Kerkesucha Granary, the largest in all of Egypt. She has arranged a symposium with others of influence in Fayum. Every night, she retires to her villa, where she courts their favor with bribes and silvered words. Then that is where I will find her. Thank you for everything, my friend. What will you do now? I will retire to our family villa. I need a drink. Kenut and I must mourn in peace. Farewell, Bayek. Once you have done what you must, we would be glad to see you again. Oh, we want to face new challenges in boss fights? Oh, that's pretty sweet. Huh, I wonder if the trials of Anubis are in there too. And by the way, I just remember who that guy was. That's the guy... That's the daughter. So, yeah, I'm slow. Whoa, that is, she is far. Like, way, 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 way over here. Um, this episode is going to be pretty long, you guys. Hopefully you don't mind such a long, long episode. But, yeah, I'll at least cut till we get over there. So it looks like they have a, like a ton of like kites over here, some kind of kite, which is pretty cool. But they had kites back then. But let's find the crocodile. Ooh, we found a granary. Oh, I'm in a restricted area. Okay, that's good to know. I don't know why I'm so like shocked that this is a restricted area. Let's see if we can do this like real stealth like. I know these first two guys we can definitely take out. Hey, you, stop. Like this and with a chain of fascination, boom. I should be cautious around here. Ah, I'll probably clear out this camp too if I can. I gotta be very quiet. Enjoying your new station, my champion. Yes, my lady. It is everything I hoped it would be. You 
What? For nothing as long as you stay by my side. As long as you are loyal. Are you serious? I knew you'd come, old friend. Perhaps so I've always meant to die at your hand. I do not want to kill you, Kensa. But look who you serve now. So I think I killed her. Murdered by one of you. Shadia. Who? Shadia! She was the child you drowned! Like all of your kind, you fail to see what greatness lies in store for Egypt. Is that what you tell yourself? You do not remember those you killed. She was the child of Henot and Hotefris. Henot was a stubborn rock. That ledger would have meant the end to all our hopes. You destroyed families. <laughs> I did what had to be done. I will destroy everything you stand for, Berenike! And I will destroy all others like you! But for now, all that matters is that you killed Shadia! And the last word you will remember is her name! Shadia! Mm. And now we have to fight our friend, I bet. Which is dumb. Because whoever she was working for... Oh. I was about to give her that business, y'all. Wait, did I, like, break the game? Like, was I not supposed to kill her stealthily? Was I supposed to have that conversation first? Because I think we probably put to pop out the enemies. Maybe even switch to Aya. Am I supposed to kill them? What the heck? Like, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Picked up that blade I found. Good. Well, they're definitely planning to kill me. You've been living in the mind of a trained assassin for the past however many hours, remember? So get ready to rock, Killer Queen. I'm oh, already an American woman. They're using bows, not guns. Yeah. Why? Guess they don't consider you much of a threat. That's what I was thinking. Like, why are they They're using bows? Me. Going dark. How's it going? Bad. Don't turn around, don't turn around. Those are compound bows though. I have to do this. It's them or me. Oh, I'm not worried about doing this. At all. Not even thinking twice about it. Oh well he's gonna find his friend dead over there. This is the last one of them. to this you work for Abstergo and I'm dead do me a favor and make sure Sophia Ricky hears it my dream was to work on the animus project I waited 12 years waiting got me nowhere 
So I built an animus that lets me access anyone's memories, even ancestors not my own. I even witnessed the origins of the assassins. Artifacts, tombs that were supposed to be stuff of legend, I found them. By killing me, you've lost all this knowledge. I understand why you thought I had to die. But did you have to kill my best friend? What did she... Oh, Abiti. I should have listened to you. All right, guys. I think that's where we're going to uh, stop for now. The next time we come back, we will uh, hop back into the Animus. Uh, I appreciate you guys uh, for watching. And, um, yeah, if you haven't already, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can see more Assassin's Creed. And leave a like on this uh, video because it really helps out the channel a lot. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.